Also, this spider just over there staring at me. With them, with them lifeless eyes. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Ark. And I'm just gonna say it. I'm glad I took a break. It's given me some time to think about what I need to do in Ark. Also, a new mod is released. In which, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Because originally, I was gonna be taming phoenixes. And I can't get any to spawn. I'm thinking it's the mod that I got that made them breedable. So... I might wait till I get the mod updated. I sent the mod author a message saying, hey, they're not like spawning at all on single player. It might also just be something else. But today, we are going to be going and taming up Cyrus's jumping spider. Now, you guys might have seen this in the community crunch here on Friday. And well, I'm pretty sure this is based off of the jumping spider that was offered up or shown to like every creature vote. So. And he, is, as I understand, he is slowly working on it. He's adding more stuff to it. Um, as of right now, though, we can go and tame it. So I do have one already picked out. This gal is over there in the church cave. Boom. Let me re-hit that. Oh, I should not have done that. They should have all still been popped up. I don't know why. Boom. There she is. Also, some of them do spawn out in the desert. I just flew back from being in that cave. I just sat in there for an hour just trying to get one to spawn. I was running in and out. Finally got one to spawn. Um, so first things first, what you're going to need to do is actually kill one of these guys to get one of their iridescent chitin. Iridescent chitin, yeah. That's what you're gonna need. Once you get some iridescent chitin, you're gonna need 15 hide, and then you're gonna wanna go to your smithy, and you have to craft a certain kind of shield for this. So if I search shield, it's this iridescent shield right here. Boom. So we'll get it crafted up here. Also, you guys may hear something cranking away off in the background there. Um, that would be a tech generator. Yes. So, again, before we start here and run over and go tame that gal, I do have to get some food crafted up. I do want to show you guys what, what work I have done on the base. So first off, I snagged a tech generator and brought it over from the island. Now, the only limitation, though, is that I only brought over 10 element with me. So that means we have to, like, to get more element, we have to go defeat the Manticore. I do have a mod that allows me to transfer element now. It also allows me to transfer artifacts. Also, my Jeroboa got left up on the roof. I was wondering where you went, my man. So, starting off here, we do got the Poly Farm. Now, this is an interesting take on a Poly Farm. I've never done one with Mantises, but surprisingly it works, thanks to this guy with his clubs so yeah he basically smacks uh the baby mantises to death and i get their polymer and then over here we got the mutton and meat uh, mutton prime meat farm that's kind of what it is it gives me mutton and prime meat i also get some wool out of it um yes i did bring over some creatures from uh from the island as well just so that way i can start finishing up the farm also i do got good news finally uh, no Untamables is finally being worked on for Scorched Earth. So, yay. Uh, the test branch has just launched. They do got the Jug Bugs. I was half tempted to throw the test branch on. But, to be honest with you, that is going to probably cause some major incompatibilities. And then once the test branch is like complete and uh, the official one comes out, it's going to probably break my server. So, I decided not to. Um, and last thing before we go here... Uh, I finally got a name for my wyvern. So the name that we have gotten here is Azula from Avatar. Which I actually found pretty awesome because, again, it is a blue fire wyvern. Um, so, just giving you guys a heads up. When I threw everything in here, it said I was only going to get 38 of these. And I've come back and I got... A 108. So... Uh, yeah, no, that said 38. I got 108. I'm not gonna complain. I got what I needed. But, yeah. It, ga it gives you more than what you would expect. So, we're almost there. Uh, it's just nice knowing that Azula here is my fastest wyvern so far. I've only, I'm only going to put the 22 points into movement speed, which she's got. I'm not gonna point, put any more. But yeah, it's just awesome. I've cleared the map here in, or crossed the map here in like under three minutes, which is a new. Also, we have gone from uh, 
a dust storm to heat wave immediately. That is awesome. Um, also, I'm hoping I can fly Azula in through the ceiling. I can't remember if I'm allowed to do that with the wyverns. Um, I might be able to. I might not. Something tells me I'm not. <laughs> so. Okay, this is probably... You know what we can do? Huh. I'm, I tried landing there and it would not let me. We're going to land on the roof. We're going to swap to Skittles. Now, we're just going to swap to Skittles because, first off, uh, he is safer, or she's safer to fly on. And, secondly, Azula's too big. So, boom. Skittles, come on out. I choose you. Oh, God. I fell all the way down and didn't even land on you. I was trying to land on your back, buddy. So, there's some stuff definitely chewing away at people down there. Now, this should be a fairly clear cave. I've already flown through it like twice today. Um, mostly what should be left is only... Oh, I, get, I guess some bats have respawned. Alright. Stuff has probably respawned. Um, I was just hoping that it was just the thorax spiders that were all down in here that were left. We're going to swing right. And then... Doom, doom, doom. I'm not seeing any of the mantises at least. It looks like all the bats respawned. That's about it. Ooh. Nope. Snake. That's what that was. I thought that was a mantis. Um. Maybe. Maybe some stuff has respawned. We do got a red drop. I definitely want to try and grab. But we got to remember to have this on. So. Now once you have put this on. It. It makes it so that way only the female thorax spiders will be friendly to you. So, like, they shouldn't attack you at all. Like, it's just because they love shiny things. And I guess, yeah, that that works. Okay, buddy. I need you to follow me and jump. Damn it. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely... Definitely too big. We can kill him, though. He's only level 20. Okay. Um, what is this thorax spider? He looks like he looks like a nice color. He's a 135 male. I don't think he should immediately attack me. That mantis is aggroed on me though. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna kind of just try and clear out all the bad ones, bad critters here first. Also, that that mantis, that one looks good. You look like a, you look like you, you would have been a nice one to have. But I like the blossom colors I got. I like. I wanted to copy the ones I had in Ark Survival Ascended. Not Ascended. Evolved. I. It's weird having two games, right? I keep on messing up the names. Okay, best way to do this is probably to land and let it fly around me. That is mate boosted. That's not good. Okay. Do you like aggro on me immediately? No. That's actually not bad to drop. Ooh. 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 I'm pretty sure that's a Fasolosuchus saddle. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did. Oh, look at the durability. Mm, what's this gun? Oh, yo, ooh, ooh, ooh. This one's good, too. That was a really good drop. Thank you. Thank you, cave. Now, oh my... The spider I want to tame is over here by the other two baddies. And there's... Oh, they stick to the wall. Did I miss a couple of these? Oh, I must have. I just realized they're sticking to the walls. There, That's a level 5. And then there's a pink one there, level 10. Okay. Come here, guys. I think they immediately lost. They have something that prevents them. That's... Come on. Ah, there's something preventing them. I gotta... One's down. That's two. We should be good here. I'm thinking that one's in the wall. Okay, so let's put that down. Do I have my shield? Yes, I do. 
Now, if I understand everything here, I should just be able to go boom. Okay, okay, so this is going to take about three feeds with my settings. Now, remember, my settings are single player settings turned on and two times taming speed. So, that is my settings. Also, my food drain multiplier is 0.7. Also, I feel like this is a trap. Oh, you drop silk. Okay. They drop silk, guys. That's awesome. So I can make a silk farm with them. Oh, I totally could. If they produce silk in their inventory, I could make a silk farm. That'd be very interesting. That's an idea. I'm not going to lie. That is an interesting idea on doing. Like, you know, making a full proper silk farm for them. Also, I'm going to run up and see if it's feedable. It doesn't seem to get mad at me when I have the shield. So, but wait until longer. Oh, hi. Hi. If you have an arach if you're an arachnophobia or was it have arachnophobia, uh, this mod is not for you. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. If you are an arachnophobe, this mod is most likely not for you. Also, um, I'm wondering if he can, uh, because the way he has the eggs done, it has a silk texture on it. I'm wondering if he can make it so that way he can do, like, small poops or human poops and apply a silk texture to it. So that way it looks like it's actually pooping out silk. You know? That'd be actually very interesting. Because I'm, I'm, again, they're just dropping silk. I'm going to see if it's ready to feed again. Nope. This is going to take three. So I'm going to wait for it. It's already... It's almost starved down by 200. I'm going to wait for it to starve down by 200. Then we're going to go feed it. If it doesn't, I'm going to wait another 100. Okay, it has starved up. It just did a little movement. It, I still can't feed it. So I'm going to wait by 300. I'll wait until it's... I'll wait until it's 470... 4,700, so I'll wait until it's down by another 50. Also, this spider just over there staring at me. With them, with them lifeless eyes. It's got some nice colors, though. The, was it, it's the purple, green, and white. That one's not bad. Um, this one, though, isn't bad either. It kind of looks like a panda, but it doesn't have the white. It's got brown. Yeah. But also, uh, yeah, again, I think it would just be interesting maybe if you, like... Because he's got an egg. He has a silk texture on it. Maybe you can do apply that to a piece of poop that comes out of him. Like, it, it's just an idea. But this also works, I know. Um, I mean, it is starved down quite a bit here. And it's still not hungry. Surprisingly. Um, also, before I forget, just because this is taken a little bit. I need... An artifact from this cave because I jumped off a cliff with it in my inventory and never have come back down here to get it boom thank you it's all I needed now all I need is this spider to uh, eat so it's starved down by quite a bit yeah still not hungry like am I just doing something wrong here I feel like I might be. I just, you know, it just feels like one of those things. Maybe something's going wrong and I'm not and I'm not noticing it. He's not wanting to Ooh, hold up. There we go. Oh, he's got one more. He's at 90. He's at 95.5. So how much did you have to starve up by? Uh, I'd say you had to starve up by almost 400. So All right, yeah. This should be quick. Also, I don't think I showed you guys their stats at all. So the main reason I'm going after this one is first off, it's a female. And it's the only one that I've seen that's gotten anything close to what I might require. So it's got 28 in melee. I'm hoping that jumps up to a 40. And it's also got 28 in stamina. I'm also hoping that jumps up to a 40. At least one or the other needs to jump up to a 40. But I could also have it where they both land perfectly in the 30s. And yeah. And then it's... Yay for the taming. Okay, she's starting to get really close to that goal again. Of, She's almost at 300. I'm going to check exactly at 300. Um, 
If not, it's definitely going to be like 400 that they have to starve down by. Or you can feed them. It might not be. I don't know. <laughs> it might also just be a distance thing. There have been in the past and Ark Survival Evolved where actual like official creatures. Uh, like the Tech Strider. The Tech Strider's feeding was based off of how far it walked from its last point of feeding. So like it would say like, all right, this percentage until you can do it. Then it would start walking back to where the last point it ever had been uh, fed at or the hack was done at. And then it would just go uh, start counting down the time because it would like it would have like a, a time that would say like until feed. And then you would walk closer to the point where it was previously fed and it quite literally just got more time. Just the closer it got to the previous point of it being... I know I keep on saying fed. It was the hack. But I'm pretty sure you had to give them mutagel for each hack. So yeah, I guess it was a feed. It, it Tech Striders just had a very interesting uh, taming mechanic. Let's go with that. Okay, it is starved up almost exactly by 20. Or 400. And I still can't feed it. So, I don't... I don't know. I don't know what it's based off of. Um, we're gonna keep waiting. There we go. We got our last feed. Boom! We have fed you the insect material. Or what is it? This one's mashed insects. The other one's all right. So for Cyrus's creatures, it's got two different feeds. I wish it was like just a kibble, like you could give them, because that make everything so much easier. Um, but like mashed insects are for the spider. Mashed bugs, which again, they're the exact same recipe. Um, just because they're two different mods. Yeah, they have to be two different foods. So, ooh, he's he's even given us the ability to toggle bite type. All right, that's disabled for now. I guess that's still one uh, that they're working on. So I also got this, release pheromones. Oh, oh, yeah, no, if I remember that correctly, hold up. This might take a hot minute. There's only one male that I remember being on the ground of these spiders, and it's the orange one over here. You shouldn't do it when I release the pheromones, do you? Oh, I can't. Oh, there he is. He's actually wandered over here. So if I recall, this is the 135 that's a male. Yes! Okay. So that that's how you tame... Oh. Oh, don't attack me. Are you running? It might be running. I'm tranquilized. Hold up. Also, I didn't check your stats. What did they come out as? Oh! Um. You know, at least your stamina came out the way I wanted it. That's at least good. You know, I won't complain about that. You got the stamina I wanted. So if I understand it... Hold up, we'll put... Uh, you know what? So the way we... Oh, there's an onyx right there. That's what's making the noise. But the way that it works, you hit C, and then he'll do that, and then you can run up and feed him the pheromone. So... Or the crushed bugs. But that one, I'm not going to try and tame. He's not even up to standard. You, though, you at least had one come out, and your health surprisingly jumped up pretty high. I wish more of your points from your health went into your melee. Because I feel like I could have just tamed up two spiders and focused on getting the mail with only uh, with only health. Now I might actually have to tame up three of these spiders. So anyways, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go out of this cave. And I'm going to try and do a dino wipe. Then we're going to come back in here. Hopefully a new 150 has spawned in. But that's also going to probably be it for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. Also, one last thing. I am currently running a membership goal for the YouTube channel. So what we're currently trying to do is we're trying to reach a goal of 10 YouTube channel members. Once we hit that goal of 10 YouTube channel members, we will be opening up an ARC server for everyone to play on. Um, but we're still debating on whether or not it's going to be like private or not. 
So, like, you might actually have to join the Discord. Like, that's what I'm meaning by private now. So, like, we're definitely thinking of having it open to everyone that in my community. Um, but we're just having the goal set so that way members... Uh, the members will have to... Like, we, once we get 10 members... And we're all... It, again, it's still... We're still looking into a lot of this. Um, we're still... We're starting to get it more planned out now. But, yeah. Anyways. This is Gunja Mora signing off. Peace.